Tommy Boyd's attempt to get freedom lasted nearly 14 hours. Tonight we have a slew of new details about the sexual predators moves after slipping out of Mercy Hospital in South County. One of those events included applying for a job at a convenience store. The bold criminal even stopped to answer questions for a political survey group and got a free hot dog. I don't think he had a plan. Uh, he didn't have a location. He kind of stayed in that Tower Grove neighborhood for quite some time before heading up to Shrewsbury. And now that he sits where he belongs, the biggest question remains. How did this convict manage to get away in the first place? The family, perhaps most impacted by all of this, says they deserve to know. Only on four tonight, Chief Investigator Lauren Traeger has an exclusive with the father of one of Boyd's victims. He says he wants to make sure Boyd never steps foot out of jail again. I hope he never sees a day of freedom. I hope the son never sets on him as a free man. This father says he cannot believe a boy escaped so easily. I think, first of all, shame on the guards. You know, they're expected to keep an eye on him and they let him get out. Dory is the dad of the then nine year old boy who in 2007 was lured by Boyd into a remote area. Boyd offered him money. A jury found in exchange for a sex act and then tried to take off the boy's pants, threatening to throw him in the water if he didn't comply. But the boy ran off. Boyd has served about half of his 30 year sentence for that case. His first sex crime was in 1996. He needs to stay behind bars for the rest of his life. He is going to menace to society. Dory says they were hopeful Boyd would be caught quickly Thursday, but they were scared too. For the other people in that area, we were, we were fearful for them, for the, for the kids. Grateful, he says, for all the efforts to get him back behind bars. The citizens of St. Louis stepped up, and I appreciate that. But he says the Department of Corrections needs to be held responsible. Have they given you an explanation? No explanation other than he escaped yesterday and was put into custody yesterday. First Alert 4 Investigates has asked for that explanation. A Department of Corrections spokesperson would only say that, quote, departmental protocol was not followed regarding Boyd at Mercy Hospital South. In a separate statement, she wrote, the two corrections officers involved are, quote, no longer employed by the department. The spokesperson declined to provide their general policies for security when offenders go to a hospital, citing security reasons. There should be no reason that, that anyone should be able to walk out at any time. Dory says he just wants to ensure this doesn't happen to another family. His son, he says, a true survivor. He is a survivor. He is, uh, he's doing well. In spite of all this, he is becoming a great man. And uh, I love him. <laughs> Lauren Traeger, First Alert 4 Investigates. And St. Louis County Police tell First Alert 4 tonight they are working to get new charges against Boyd. If anyone had contact with him during his escape, police ask you to get in contact with them. We are watching.